<laughs> In our health chats today, some new research has found that a stress transmitter actually wakes up your brain more than 100 times every single night. But guess what? It's perfectly okay. Dr. Samuel Gurevich, who's a pulmonologist and sleep specialist with Cleveland Clinic Weston, says it all has to do with a neurotransmitter in our brain. It's called noradrenaline, and it's responsible for the fight or flight response that we all have. Noradrenaline triggers brain activity that we don't even notice, but which is vital for a number of reasons. And in fact, what this research showed is it added to a large body of research that was already there. And it really helps to confirm that the brain is a very active organ, including when we sleep. This is how, what helps us remember. This is what gives us our energy back in the morning. This is what calms our nerves in the morning. So it's all the things that uh, go along with good sleep. It's not because the brain just shuts off when we sleep. It's actually quite active, but just in a very different way. So interesting. The doctor there says it is not to be confused with consciously waking up during the night, which depends on frequency and duration. That actually can be harmful to your brain and to your overall health. And a host of different retinal exams are now being evaluated as potential Alzheimer's disease screening methods. One approach aims to search for signs of what's called a beta amyloid that forms damaging plaque in the brains of people who have Alzheimer's disease. Studies show this protein fragment also does accumulate in our retinas, and researchers have found that it may be detectable there before an onset of symptoms. Now, in an ongoing trial of an Alzheimer's drug at the University of California, San Diego, researchers are now screening the retinas of a number of these patients before and after treatment to illuminate retinal amyloid changes and see if the treatment does reduce its levels in the eye.